The Cardinals hit the road this week to take on the Cleveland Browns alongside left tackle DJ Humphreys. I'm Danny Sarek. This is Sideline Exchange presented by Hyundai. DJ, there is a quarterback change this week. Josh Dobbs was traded to Minnesota after starting all eight games in Arizona. It's either going to be rookie Clayton Toon or possibly Kyler Murray making his return to the field. What's the biggest emphasis for the offensive line to make sure you are comfortable and ready with whatever quarterback starts on Sunday? Uh, I think, honestly, just making sure we're on the P's and Q's with the stuff that we got to handle because either way it goes, it'll be one of those guys' first time being in there this year. So it'll be an adjustment phase for them for sure. So as long as we're on our P's and Q's and we're sorting things out and making it easy for them, it'll help regardless. Some offensive line adversity. Starting left guard Elijah Wilkinson went on IR with a neck injury. Tristan Colon got the start Sunday, however, went down early in the game and Dennis Daly stepped in. How do you combat adversity there? I think when you play offensive line, you just kind of understand that's a part of the game. And I think that we always prepare for those situations that happen throughout the week. You know, if you ever watch us in practice, all the guys get reps with the team to kind of just get that continuity in case it ever has to happen. You know, the backups have to go throughout the week as if they're going to start because you something could happen. I could wake up with a stomach bug on, on, on Saturday morning before the game and now beach is up, you know what I mean? So it's like a, that level of knowing what's going on and being tuned in all week is it's important when you play on the O-line because we're all in there together. You've said before this team has fight. They're scrappy. Tight end Trey McBride's touchdown Sunday was a full team effort. The offensive line got behind him, pushed him in. How much does that play encapsulate the fight this team has? I mean, especially when you think about the situation that was in that the game was going on in that game and how we were down and how we had been trying to maneuver all the way down the field and try to make plays and make something happen to finally get that end of life and then guys fight and scratch the cloth to make sure it was six. That's just an example of who we are, the our DNA truly who we are on the inside. So it's just we had to figure out a way to emulate that over and over again. More times than it being a celebratory thing to do at the end of the game when we're down two scores and we're trying to prove that we're not going to give up. It's got to be something that this is our DNA. First down, second down, first quarter, second quarter, you know what I mean? Just kind of keep it rolling from the jump. To have that fight with a one and seven record, what is keeping this team together and in those games? I think we got a prideful group. You know, I think guys are out there playing playing with pride when we get in those situations. Guys have got their plan with pride. They're out there playing like their hometown is watching or their family is watching because that's that's the reality of the situation. At the end of the day, it comes a point in time in the game where it may not be going how you want it to go, but now you need to show who your character as a person is now when we know that you could be down three scores and you could easily tuck it in and, and, and let it go by the wayside, but you fight and you scratch your claw to the end knowing that the, the ending may not be what you want it to be either way, no matter how hard you fight. That just shows you who you are, and I think that's for me, being an older guy, seeing our young guys that's being their nature off the rip, it, it, I love it so much for a guy like me. You're facing the number one defense in Cleveland, led by defensive end Miles Garrett, who's tied for the third most sacks in the league, eight and a half. How do you keep him at bay? Uh, I think it's going to be a team effort. You know what I mean? Just kind of sticking to the plan that we have in place and just kind of making sure that we're always cognizant of where he is and, and, and making sure we don't deviate from our plan that we have and just staying locked into it. Cardinals hit the road Sunday, heading to Cleveland to face the Browns. It's an 11 a.m. kickoff Mountain Standard Time. For DJ Humphreys, I'm Danny Sarek. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sideline Exchange.